Well, it's Tim with Tadai Farm. Today is Friday, uh, February 7th, and we got a lot going on here. Let's start with a lot of big news this week. First, Monday I did a video on the drill. Still haven't edited it, had computer problems. I'll get back to the computer problems in a minute. But any of those that you've followed my channel over the past year know that last uh, January, a year ago, I had ankle surgery. And uh, while I was kind of healing that up, I strained too hard with my right ankle and actually tore some of the Achilles tendon. I shouldn't say torn, they didn't like that word, but anyway, I got a problem with it and they're gonna do surgery on it here at the end of the month. So we got a lot of stuff to do here in a short period of time. One, to catch you up, I got to get this plate put back on. We're going to put on hold all the other stuff. Just get it back together. Make sure things are ready for this spring because I'm going to be laid up for six to eight weeks. And that's going to put us real close to April, the end of April. Which we won't need to be planting beans by then or we'll be getting close to wanting to plant beans by then. But I got to have corn in the ground. So anyway, we'll see what happens there. But... I was into the international dealer this week and we got a leak back here they thought it was up here and I said well it can't be up here because the oil levels down here someplace I know this leaks and we need to get that fixed so they're gonna do that while they have this apart because this all has to come out they have to drain the oil it doesn't cost that much more for them to repack it replace the seal and stuff so I'm gonna have them do it no reason for me to do it if they're going to have the oil out i got to pull this out anyway it's another couple hours to do the work okay be done with it but what we're think thinking is when this three-point hitch is all the way down there's oil running out back here is where i'm thinking it's coming out and they said uh that there's, there's a couple o-rings in there that could have tear in them so they got to get they got to get these wheels off to get to this whole thing to fix all that. So they called me this afternoon and said, hey, can you have this here for Monday morning? We got a slot to get it in. So that's the goal right now. Um, got the duels off. We took them off on Monday while I was out here working. But now we got to get these off. This one should come off pretty good. I had to adjust this one last year to get the spacing the same on both sides. And I anesthesized the garbage out of this. So this should come off real good. The other one, I have no idea. We'll have to see. Um, and then I've been spraying the crud out of these hubs. Because they got, like I said, they got to get this off and slide this all the way off. So... That's what we're working on today. Let's see how this one goes. The other one on the other side, we'll have to get into that one here in a second. But this one I'm gonna try just to use the impact hammer. So hang tight here. That came off better than I thought it would. Like I said, I anesthesized the garbage out of these. I got a broken hose again. All right, we got that off. Let's do the other side. This one I'm having to use the breaker bar with this five foot pipe. I bent it last year. So that's why it's bent, but that's what I'm using in to get those loose. And that's not too bad coming apart. Got it off. Anyway, there's the rest of the video on this, getting that off. It came off better than I thought it would since I haven't messed with that. But probably to my advantage, 
is I was using this stuff, spraying it all over everything on Monday. And uh, I was just doing it like this, spraying up in there, getting it everywhere I could get it to go. Open that, that will get that loosened up. And then uh, let me get a light. But just spraying down in here and getting that stuff soaked as much as I could, hoping that that would help get that loosened up. So they're not spending hours trying to get these wheels off because they charge by the hour. So that's the goal, soak them. I've had pretty good luck with that in the past, doing that over several days. Getting them loosened up. So Anyway, well, like I said, that went better than I thought it would, getting them hubs off. Um, yeah, well, this is kind of going to be a short video, but a little bit of an update on what we got going on here at Tada Farm. And uh, like I said earlier, I got to have this surgery. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but... Uh, I don't look forward to the alternative. They they told me I could very easily, if I bump that or bang it on a chair or something, I could actually dislocate that Achilles tendon and make things really, really bad. And if it completely dislocates, I could be crippled for life. I don't want that. So we're going to suck it up and get this over with. I just hope it recovers faster than my left foot. But uh, moral of the story... Don't fight with a horse. And if you wonder what that means, you can go back and listen to my video from a year ago. But basically, my daughter's horse wouldn't load. And uh, I lost my patience. And uh, we got into it. And I ended up with some injuries. But the International's getting an oil fix, oil leak fix. And uh, I don't know. We may try to get the air conditioning done on it before uh, I have surgery. We'll have to see if I can get it done. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.